Hello, hello, hello. You're tuning in to the episode of The Wonder Kid Show. Today's third topic, Derrick Henry on The Pivot. Look, I actually like this, right? Um, I like that he's being vocal about um, not just his wants and beliefs, but what he's trying to accomplish in his time coming to Baltimore. And Derrick Henry pretty much says, look, I got one thing on my mind, and that's winning a ring. You know what I'm saying? Being the missing piece to winning a ring for this organization. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the audio, and then I'm going to break it down, and we're going to go and dumpster dive into it, all right? So without further ado, let's get this video started. Uh, you guys made it to the AFC chip. The thing I remember most was late in the game against Kansas City, you on the sideline in a jacket, mm -hmm. right? And it's like, okay, this is the best running back in football. His team's trying to make it to the Super Bowl. And because they're down, he's not on the field. Mm -hmm. Part of sort of the devaluing mm -hmm. of the running back position is that, mm -hmm. right? Because that's very similar to LaDainian Thomason, who we had had on the show as well, to when LT's in the AFC Championship, his knees hurt. And he has on the coat. He has on the helmet. Mm -hmm. How important is it for you now in Baltimore to help Lamar, who has been on the cusp as you were, mm -hmm. John Harbaugh, who has already won a championship, Roquan in that defense? How important is it for you and your career to win a championship? It's really important, and I'm happy I'm going somewhere that they 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 hungry they they hungry for it and they're right on the cusp you know they're always in the conversation and I know Lamar want one really bad so I ain't going to somewhere that like the expectation is just we're gonna see what's gonna happen let's make the playoffs and try to make some noise no they trying to win it mm -hmm. and being so close and um, losing that game in Kansas City I know they're hungry I know you know they're gonna come in with the right mindset. And let's get to it. So I'm I'm ready to come in and be that 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 adding piece to it to help spring them forward if, if any way possible, any way I can. And helping him and you know taking some of the you know saying the, the pressure off him in, mm -hmm. in any way. And um, you know, the big thing is being around some dogs. Yep. So uh, I'm I'm excited for the opportunity. And Another big reason why I played a big part is the last time the Ravens won the Super Bowl, it was in New Orleans. And the Super Bowl is in New Orleans this year. So, mm. hopefully this shit come full circle. Listen, hey, yo, let's go! <laughs> oh, bro, let me tell you this right now. If history repeats itself, woo-hoo! <laughs> boing boing <laughs> Look, I love this for two reasons. Because a lot of y'all, y'all got to understand where I'm at, right? I told you guys what I felt about this man. I told y'all that, look, he has it all. Like, he has the, the game, he has the style, he has the ability, he has the strength, and he would be a perfect fit for the Baltimore Ravens. But he has more than anything the mindset. He's coming in not to just get his numbers. He's coming in to make a statement. He's coming in to make noise. He's coming in to win a chip. Full-blown period stop. That means something. Lamar is already itching at the bite, like chomping at the bit. He wants to get back on the field immediately. Now he's going to have someone right next to him that wants it almost, if not equally, as bad as he does. And that's not taking a shot at any of the other guys because we know Roquan wants it bad too. What I'm saying offensively, there's another weapon on the team that's like, yo, I've been there, done that. I'm trying to win it all. I'm not a young guy who guys, oh, I got my whole career in front of me. I'm staring down the barrel. I don't got much else left to do. <laughs> The second reason why I love this is because y'all got to understand what it means to be a Raven. Ravens represent hard-nosed, tough football. Lamar has been a shift almost in that. 
because he's so dynamic, electric, just a playmaker, literally the, 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 one of the top three playmakers in the league in the body of a quarterback. That's what he is. That's what he is. Right? So it's been so flashy and everything else. This man, Henry, brings the team's offense. He brings another level to it that brings it back to its roots. Now you have a true dual uh, 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 outlook for the team offensively. You have your bruiser. You got the guy that can get you the tough yards. You got the guy that can ch uh, choke out the clock. Tough runs. Tough touchdowns. Get to the end zone. Literally just take the heart out of the other team, gashing them run after run after run after run. But you also got that quarterback that can make every throw. You got a quarterback that if he keeps it, there's no play that he can't make running the ball. And he could dip, dive, duck, dodge better than anybody in the league, which can cause backyard football meaning open targets down the field. Imagine that with Derek the King Henry. I'm telling y'all. Uh, listen, a lot of y'all was like, uh, we're not going to get him, or we don't need him, or we got da-da-da, or this and that, blah, 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 blah. I'm telling y'all, y'all going to be eating y'all words. This is going to be something special. And not only that, Lamar's going to be another year under this offense. He's going to know it even better. He's going to be even more prepared in it. He's going to know the verbiage even better. Like, it, it's, it's just no more learning. This is like, yo, I'm expounding on everything that I know now. The foundation is there. Y'all must think it's a joke, bro. I'm, I'm so excited for this year upcoming. Y'all have no idea. I think this is going to be one of those moves that people look at and be like, the NFL was stupid letting Derrick Henry go to the Baltimore Ravens. I truly believe that. They're going to say that. They're going to they're going to say it and you're going to have a lot of people coming down being like, "Oh, how did you let that happen?" And we're going to be looking at them like, ha, ha, ha. Oh. <laughs> "I'm telling y'all. Y'all think I'm joking. Y'all think I'm joking." Y'all see, y'all will see when everything is done. It's going to be absolutely pandemonium. But don't take my word for it. But what do you guys think? Did you like what Derrick Henry said? Do you like what he uh what right now what he represents not only as a weapon for the team but moving forward as one of their primary playmakers? Let me know what you think down in the comment section because I loved what he said on this. Not just because I wanted him and stuff like that, but because it makes it's exactly what you want to hear out of the guy with his type of pedigree. But like I said, as always, that's the episode of the Wonderkind Show. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Y'all know how we get down. We have fun and we laugh. But everything we talk about rooted in what? Facts and truth. Please do remember, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. You know I love the comments. And if you haven't done so already, check out the Wonder Kid Show's Patreon. Yes, three tiers of content goodness waiting for your consumption. Give it a look. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. And if you would like to donate to the channel, help out with equipment and such stuff like that, Bottom of the screen, QR code, QR codes to a cash app. Cash app located in the description of every video that we do. And the name of it is Money Sign, The Wonderkin Show. Super easy. So once again, this is The Wonderkin Show. This is your host, Michael, signing off. And as always, you know my slogan. Peace. And I am out of here. Huh. Yeah.